the Pharaoh declared all Hebrew boys to be killed. One mother made a basket and sent it down the Nile River, and Pharaoh's daughter rescued the baby boy. She adopted him as her own son and then named him Moses. He lived a royal lifestyle as one of the prince of Egypt. Moses became a murderer when he saw an Egyptian slave master beating a Hebrew. He hid the body in the sand, but after the Pharaoh found out, Moses ran away. He lived in the desert for 40 years as a shepherd, and he married Sephora and had two sons. God appeared to Moses in a burning bush. The flames within the bush did not consume him. God wanted Moses to rescue his people from Egypt. Moses was afraid at first and made excuses. After a conversation, Moses agreed. Then God revealed his name, I am who I am. At the first confrontation with the new Pharaoh, Moses and his brother Aaron said, Thus says the Lord God of Israel, Let my people go. But Pharaoh refused. He told the people, I will not give you straw to make bricks. Find the straw yourself and make the same amount of bricks as you did before. The next time that Aaron and the Pharaoh meet, Aaron throws down his rod and it turns into a snake. Pharaoh sorcerers do the same thing, but Aaron's rod ate up all of Pharaoh's snakes. Now the ten plagues begin. Water turns to blood. Frogs are over the land. Next, lice blow in. Then flies appear. God makes a distinction between the Egyptians and the Israelites. And livestock are dead, but only of the Egyptians. Boils on men and animals, but only the Egyptians. Thunder, hell, and fire, but only on the Egyptians. Locusts come in but only on the Egyptians. Darkness appears, but only on the Egyptians. Next, the Egyptian masters give the slaves silver and gold. At midnight, death comes and kills the firstborn of Pharaoh and all of the Egyptian people. However, the Lord tells the Israelites to kill a lamb and paste blood on the doorpost. Roast the lamb, make unleavened bread, and eat bitter herbs, but stay in as death passes over. This is known as the first Passover. After the plagues, Pharaoh Ramsey II releases them. So they pack up their things and leave Egypt. Pharaoh changes his mind and chases them down to the Red Sea. Moses stretched out his rod, and God parted the sea, and they went across on dry land. Moses prophesied, Do not be afraid. Stand still and see the deliverance of the Lord. When they had finished crossing, Pharaoh and his army proceeded to follow them. Moses prophesies again and says, The Egyptians you see today will all drown, and you will never see them again. And he was right. Moses spent 40 days on Mount Sinai. God gave him instruction and the Ten Commandments, which God wrote himself. Meanwhile, while the Israelites got too tired of waiting on Moses, and they made an idol of a golden calf and began to worship it. This made God angry, but Moses pleaded for their lives. While on the mountaintop, Moses requests to see God's glory, and he granted it. Moses proclaims, The Lord, the compassionate, gracious God, slow to anger, abounding in love, faithful to maintaining love to thousands, forgiving weakness, rebellion, and sin. As a result of their disobedience, the children of Israel spent 40 years wandering in the wilderness. Moses even messed up 
due to his anger, which disallowed him to enter into the promised land. Moses lived 120 years, and he was buried by God. And he was known as a prophet of the Lord. My name is Michelle Daniels. I'm your e facilitator. If you have any questions or any comments, go to youre-facilitator.com and leave them there. Please like and share this video. Thank you.